Video is filming. How exciting. Lovely. Michael, do you have your wire? I found the wire, yes. Thank you for sharing that with the internet. Patronizing. Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my Stage of YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theater. So yesterday, I had a very exciting stagey day because Aaron and I went to go and see one of the first performances of Six live at Hampton Court Palace. And I got the t-shirt. Here, look. Six. So if you don't know, Global Sensation 6 that started life as a student Edinburgh Fringe show and has gone on to West End success, Broadway success, winning multiple Tony Awards, and is now a global phenomenon, playing in various countries around the world, recently announced that they would be performing some very special dates in concert at Hampton Court Palace. Which is super exciting because for anyone who is not UK based, this is one of the locations where the actual Tudor Queens that the show is based on will have spent a lot of their time. Jane Seymour literally died there. Spoiler alert, if you, if you didn't know, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of her thing. So I'm going to be showing you the Mega Six from the performance, obviously, as well as the whole day that we had. Not only did we see the show live, but we also got to go on a very exciting tour of Hampton Court Palace beforehand that was put together especially for people coming to see the show. Shout out to Holly Vlogs who gifted us those tour tickets. Thank you so much. We had a great time. But before I show you any of this, I have a very exciting exclusive offer for viewers of my channel. So today's video is sponsored by Stage Door. Now, if you don't know about Stage Door, this is a London theatre guide where not only can you buy tickets to the shows but it can also help you decide which shows you want to go and see. When you sign up for the app it lets you filter your preferences based on stuff like plays, new writing, musicals, Shakespeare, family shows and after you see the shows you can review them right there in the app and you can look at other people's reviews of the shows as well as actual critics reviews of the shows all stored in the same place. Stage Door also has its own loyalty card scheme where theatre goers using this can earn anywhere from 10% off of a ticket price to up to £70 off of your booking. Which means if you're going to the theatre more than a few times a month, which let's face it, most of us here are, you can save over £300 a year using this scheme. And as if that wasn't enough, Stage Door have been so, so kind as to offer me an exclusive discount code I can give you all now. So if you use the code Mickey15, then you get £15 off of your next ticket booking using the Stage Door app. Try it now, buy some tickets, thank me later. Now, back to the palace for six. It's there, it's behind me. Can you see it behind my head? My head's in the way. Of what? Of the, of the flipping great palace. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, hey! Welcome back to my Stage YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I'm obsessed with all things theatre and I'm currently outdoors. This is Aaron James, my Hello. very stagey ridiculous boyfriend. You can go and follow his channel now as well, at Aaron James on YouTube. If you want that, you don't, you don't have to. We are here today at Hampton Court Palace for a very exciting, very special performance of Six. This is really exciting because not only is this the first time that any show has done like an outdoor performance at Hampton Court Palace, yes. as far as I'm aware, especially a show of this caliber that has just been nominated for and won a bunch of Tony Awards, but this is also reuniting the original Six Queens from the show's first West End outing. You can literally hear Alexia Sound checking, get down. This is the choreography at that point. Because I'm a play. Now you can just hear a play. In. I hit replay. replay. You. No. Trick. Yeah, that's Ooh, not actually. Fun fact. I was a. Uh, I was found you at BSA when Alexia was in year three. So I watched her in um, Rent. You were already at drama school when she was in year three. You're so much older than. No, you. she was third year at uh, Birmingham School. Who did she play in Rent? She was Mimi. Oh yeah, fun fact, yeah, she was. She Maya was really... has also played Mimi at yeah. the Hope Mill. Yeah, she was Mimi. Wow, that is a fun fact. I enjoyed that fact. You're welcome. That was fun. Get down. Get down. We're spending our whole day here, and thanks to Holly Vlogs, we are also going to be going on a pre-show tour of Hampton Court Palace. I've literally never been here before. I've walked around the outside Normally. of it once, so I'm really excited to go in. I feel like this is just gonna get us in the right vibe. It's gonna give us some of the flavor of Six before we see the show, which I'm all excited for. I haven't seen Six in a while. Before today, I had seen it 16 times. Erin, how many times have you seen Six? Twice, and funny fact, I only ever saw it at the arts. So it's been a while since I last saw Six. And you've only ever seen this cast? Yes, this cast and then, sorry, once with Courtney as Aragon. With Courtney Stapleton. So, yes. 
this will be this will be familiar to yeah. you. It's been ages since I've seen some of these performers. I think it'll make me want to watch the show again. So we're going to head in now for our tour, and yes. hopefully we'll get to show you what it looks like inside. So we just got out of the tour of Hampton Court Palace, which was very interesting, really, really, I thought. Really, really. Yes, some historical things I knew, some I did not know about. A lot of historical things I knew because of Six, which is something I've always liked about this show, yes. is that the history that you're getting, even in little asides and details, is all accurate and very interesting and separate to the usual things that you associate with the six queens because of what you learn in like primary and secondary school. Yes. So yeah. Did it change your mind of any of the queens? I, you know, I, th I think I was already, um, I think the show had already enlightened me so much about all of the queens, but there was a lot to learn on the tour. Really enjoyed our tour guide, yes. high quality of tour guide, who incorporated so many six lyrics so many. into the tour, either did homework beforehand because this was like part of the event for the show, or just a massive stand of the show. I can't decide. Know. We'll never know. We, we may never know. We also were in two historical spaces, rooms where big we events happened in their lives. We were. We were in the room where Jane Seymour died. Spoiler alert. And we were also in the room which Catherine Howard supposedly haunts. Yes. Spooky haunted corridor. Haunted by Catherine Howard. I saw no ghosts. I didn't see any this time. No, not on this occasion, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Hampton. Like Southampton, but not South. Yes. We're in our seats, we ready are. for the show. It is not currently raining, but it was touch and go for a minute. Yes, I'm like prepped for hug, crack, yeah. or hit. By the time you see this, this run will already be over, but there was like some really cute um, little outdoor area, because this is part of a bigger festival at Hampton Court. So we had some nice food. We had some fried chicken and loaded chips. We had some nice complimentary wine that came with the tour. We've already passed Shekinah from the UK tour cast of Six, and Toby Marlow over there somewhere. There's loads of cool people about and Kenny Wax is here. Yep, producer Kenny Wax is here. Danny is here without his camera. <laughs> All the names. This is the place to be. It is, really.
Hello. So if it wasn't immediately clear from how we are dressed, we are back from seeing six. Can you do that with me? Okay. <laughs> six. Are you going to do a harmony? Six. six. Okay. I'm going to Six. Oh, too much. Let us not be brave. <laughs> six. That's the same. Three, two, one. Six. six. So we went to go and see six at Hampton. Six. What, every time? Every time. Yeah. We went to go and see at Hampton Court Palace. My 17th time seeing the show. Your third time seeing the show. Yeah, third time. Yeah. Both of us fondly remembering the original cast. So exciting getting to see them again. What were your favourite things about the show? Actually, possibly Alexia. You because, really liked Alexia? Well, I hadn't seen that change. Ah, so, yes. Um, you've seen it since, but they now do the costume change with Cleves. And I feel like her number's just been bumped up a bit more in how extravagant it is. Yeah, so this is a really good thing to talk about. There have been some changes to the show since many of the original queens performed it. Now, Alexia had been in it with those changes, so she has done that moment. But for Maya, for Amy, for Millie, they have not done this most recent version of the show. So really exciting to see them get to do some of the little changes. Like the beginning of I Don't Need Your Love, as well as the whole remix part of it has significantly changed since Maya was last in the show. Also, fun for me, was Millie O'Connell throwing in that I'm not sorry at the end of Sorry Not Sorry slash Don't Lose Your Head slash whatever the song is called. <laughs> Uh, because I've never heard her do that before. That was a thing that either Courtney or Andrea on Broadway started. I'm not sure which, but definitely was since Millie's time. What were my favourite things about the show? I mean, I'm excited whenever I get to see Amy Atkinson performing as Catherine Howard. I love everyone who has ever been in Six. I love all of them. They all bring something really exciting to the role. But something about Amy as Kay Howard just always has my heart. I love her in that role and just really lifts the whole performance for me. And just all of them performing together. Like you can tell this was a group that went through so much together and have subsequently done so much together. Like they are an entire girl band performing a show. How exciting is that? Erin, you have a question. No, I was also gonna point out that moment, you could really tell it when Maya did her really high note and they all had just a little moment where it was a very group, oh my gosh, you hit that note really well. And I don't think, I think it was a, a moment of... It was an organic people. moment. It was. It was. Everyone broke. So there were a few little things throughout the show. Obviously, everyone was very excited to see these six performing the show again. So there was crazy applause at various points. And they had to do that thing where they're like, you know, and now I'm going to go back into dialogue and like get people to stop clapping. But specifically, End of Heart of Stone. Yes. Wild applause. Like there was just a lot of love for Natalie Paris in Hampton Court Palace courtyard yesterday. Um, and also this other moment at the end of um, I Don't Need Your Love, reprise, when Maya's just in her love, but better than that, <laughs> if you can imagine such a thing. And they were all crowding around her and being like, yeah, you did it. And then she completely started laughing and broke because the applause went on for ages and everyone was just like, we love this so much. Oh my God, six. It was a beautiful time. You had to be there. It was great. Um, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes. The rain periodically pouring out of the top of the stage onto some people in the second row. That, that was, was so bad for them because it was so specifically on like two people. And it was a lot. It was time. just like this downpour just targeted at this one group. And it was funny if it wasn't happening to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something else I kind of liked was just the whole vibe because you were surrounded by either side of the palace and the palace back wall against the queens which gave me a weird hamilton vibe because of a similar like brickwork i see that i see that it was a little hamilton the lighting um it was cute that actually the lighting was around the whole palace so the walls on either side were lighting up in the right colors at the same time but i did like yeah i will say the set was quite minimal it was basically just a West End Live-esque stage that had been put up in the middle of Hampton Court. They were giving you full, up-to-date Gabrielle Slade most recent versions of the costumes, which, again, Stunning. with the updated changes to the show, not all of them have worn those most recent costumes before, but they did not have the actual stage set. They had little platform for the band, um, and they had, you know, enough stuff to do all of the traditional blocking from the show. I didn't even remember if they had a chair for Get Down for... They had, the, they had a throne on the top. They had a throne on the top for Alexia to sit on during Get Down, but they didn't have the set from the show because they're only there for a brief window of time, but they had the wall of Hampton Court Palace behind them, which in many ways is actually much cooler. Like if you're going to yeah. be at Hampton Court, use Hampton Court. And I thought they could have actually played into that even more. I will say 
I kind of wanted a little bit more from the lighting. Hopefully by today's performances on Monday, the lighting will be a little bit sharper. It was a little bit of a struggle at the beginning. Thankfully, it was light out so you could still see everything throughout, but some of the lighting cues were a little bit not as sharp as they could have been. I'm going to make a lighting designer cry now, aren't I? You're so mean. I'm, it's factual. <laughs> I've got to say these things. Well, it was really nice how there was this whole um, area for food and for drinks outside of the palace. And then you could sit kind of on the grounds and in the gardens. So it just had this really cool vibe. And it was really nice as well to see such a range of people that were fans of Six and coming to see Six. It wasn't like... I think sometimes people make you think of fans of Six. It was nice to see that there's such a broad range of people that actually love this musical. Everyone was there. There were like groups of just adults by themselves. There were people who work in marketing. There were lots of theatre type people were there. Danny with a camera was there because obviously he's a Six stan, if you didn't know. (laughs) Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss were there just casually meeting and greeting, being Tony winners, just outdoors in the slight rain at Hampton Court, being very real. You can't say that of all Tony Award winners. Like, Jennifer Hudson wasn't there. It would have been weird if she was. I'll be honest. Tell you what, it did make me kind of think Six would be cool in the open air as well. You think open air Six? I could see open air Six. But just, like, for a random season. Or random one-offs. Yeah, why not? Six everywhere. Yeah, just... Six everywhere. Yeah. Minak. Go for it. Minak. They've performed on a cruise ship. Why not in the sea? (laughs) I'm a pioneer. I just, these ideas, the they just come outfits. to me. <gasps> scuba six. six underwater in six, six in space. Oh, they will do six in space. Like six on the beach. <laughs> That's no, got... that will happen. I mean, that markets itself, doesn't that it? That will happen. Six on the beach. Why not? Kenny Wax, if you're listening, that's that's a free option for you. <laughs> that's You can have that one. I think it's also interesting if you say that, when you said earlier that it's a concert version of six because it's really because because six is a concert you don't have to change much about six to make it a concert version of the show but that is really what this is it is as though they're doing a west end live set but they're doing the whole show and it happens to be in this really scenic location i liked that there was a clock on the wall (laughs) random thing i'm that kind of an anxious theater goer i can be completely immersed in something i would still like to know what time it is (laughs) i mean i just kept thinking oh this is what it would have been like if a drive through had happened Yes. The drive-in. R.I.P. The drive-in. R.I.P. Drive-in six. That's that's basically what it was in some ways. Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't in a car. They had some exciting merch on offer. We got these exclusive six live at Hampton Court Palace T-shirts. They had some exclusive pins and some other things which you can't buy now because they've sold out anyway. But you know, it was there. I kind of wanted Grace to be back and part of the show in some way. I mean, there's only six of them so unless someone falls down a flight of stairs she's not going to be there they did have rachel rawlinson from the current western cast of six available on standby as a super swing able to cover any of the roles and when they announced that it kind of made me sad because i was like oh if grace was back it would be like really recapturing that era it would be as if it was all back again but it did occur to me there are changes to the show and there are some changes to the blocking. And so those of them that have been away for a long time have had to relearn the show. And also it's just been a few years since they've done it. So if there's a job you haven't done in a couple of years, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to walk into it straight away. Imagine being Grace and having to come back mid-legally blonde at Regent's Park and relearn six roles like that's, And then probably not even go on. That's, yeah. that's a lot of stress. I would have won it personally. Wung it? <laughs> winged it? If I was Grace and they asked me to come back and stand by, I'd be like, yeah, sure. I would not learn any of the new stuff. I'd just be like, you can work it out. <laughs> just say, push me. Just just mirror mirror what the others are doing. It's fine. There's five other people to look at. What are the chances the audience is even going to be looking at you at that moment? I like those odds. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my stage YouTube channel for plenty more regular theatre content. Also, if you want to watch the full Mega Six, head over to Aaron James on YouTube, where (laughs) it's been posted on his channel. Yes. Also, if you want to support me as a stage of content creator, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mickey Joe Theatre, where you can gain access to a bunch of exclusive photo and video content. Thank you again to Stage Door for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can use Mickey15 to get you £15 off any purchases of theatre tickets using Stage Door. Make sure you go and download the app now, get yourself on that loyalty card scheme and save money on all of your theatre bookings based on the recommendations from my channel. 
I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>